Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack Hey, this is Dale from Peugeot Productions, and today we are here at the W Hotel. The W is part of the Marriott Luxury Collection, or Luxury Branding. Now, if you don't know, if you're not with my channel here, hit that likes button, hit the subscribe button, because I'm going to be doing a hotel review on all 30 different Marriott brands, all on this channel here. Anyways, the W is a luxury brand that is normally a four-star hotel can go up to a five-star hotel in certain cities. It is considered a party kind of hotel, a little bit modern, very, very different from your normal standard hotels, and they're, ne they're usually a bit new. Our the W didn't come out until around 2015-ish, so they're a pretty new concept, but this room is amazing. It's huge. Um, and looking at it, you're like, what the heck? How much is this? Well, it's actually around $400 a night right now. Um, on a good day, you can get it around $250, depending on the time. For this one, it's, it's so great. It's, I can't, I don't know how to describe its, uh, you know, awesomeness to it. So, um, I'm so excited to stay here. The W has been one of the brands that I've always wanted to try because of its its ability how to get you out of your uh, room per se. You're like when I stay in hotels, I like to stay in the hotel itself, uh, in inside the room. But this one makes me kind of want to go out because the W usually has multiple bars in it, as well as restaurants, as well as a pool, everything. The amenities are up there. Facilities, same thing, up there. As I said, bar. There's two bars. There's the living bar, is what they call it, the W living bar, which I've seen. It has a cool pool table inside, as well as a lot of seating, a great view, um, good outside patio area. Then there's the civility and unrest, which is like underground kind of bar, where like it's like a it's like a speakeasy. Whew, that is really nice. You're having having a lot of whiskey, like little doing whiskey tastings down there. Um, so that's how good it is. A little sophisticated, a little above my price range. So um, another thing that I wanted to point out before I, I go into further, I am a Marriott employee, but uh, this is just an honest review of Marriott and of this W Hotel. And all of this is from based on the hotel that I'm staying at, not the hotels as a whole, but it takes up the generation of whole branding in terms of what this is. The view itself is beautiful. I got a great sunset view, uh, and the location is amazing. It's in Lincoln Square, which is a mall in, in downtown Bellevue. Right across the street is Bellevue Square, which is the main hub of malls. You've got a lot of eclectic shops and things like that right over there. Um, and I'm also during, doing this during Christmas time, so there's going to be some cool events happening in the next couple of hours as well. I'm not sure if I'll be able to go take a look at, but yeah. Take a look at the amenities here inside the room. Um, there is a Nespresso machine right next to my camera. I'm not going to use it. I don't drink coffee, so not having tea kind of sucks. Um, also, 
because it's an espresso, and it's an espresso shot, basically. They don't give you cup cups, they give you tiny espresso cups. So, uh, if you do drink coffee, I'd go here, definitely. Um, the bed, huge king bed. You can always get the two queens and stuff, but the king bed, very plushy. There are many vanity items as well. There's a seat, like a little table next to the bed, which I think is a seat, but it pulls out and I think it's more like a night table. But then the night table itself is right there. Um, pretty blocky, kind of small, but really cool. This lamp, oh man, this lamp looks so cool. It's right on the on the wall itself. The wall looks concrete, but it actually isn't concrete. It's just painted that way. Uh, but then you turn on the light, and you you feel like you're in like Asia or something like that. Some type of Asian inspired. It doesn't look like a lantern or anything like that, but it just looks like it. Maybe it's because it's red. Um, but yeah, so this hotel, the hotel room itself, is mostly gray. Like if you took out all the color, or if you were colorblind, it's just all gray. And then they accent it with, you know, bits of color here, bits of color there. Um, the lamp is red. The bed itself has like one pink pillow on it, and that's it. And it's all silvery, super clean, super elegant. Looking at the, looking at the bathroom. The bathroom is very weird. It's it's split into what I would consider three parts. Now the three parts would be uh, the bathroom itself with the toilet. So that one's like its own closed room. You could close the door. Kind of small um, for what it is. Um, if you and if you don't close the door before you sit down or anything like that to do your business, um, kind of that door will slam into your legs like no tomorrow. The second part would be the. Uh, would be the sink area. That sink area, pretty open, not bad in terms of space. It's only a one person sink, so no double sink, um, like many of the suites that they have here. You ever think of getting a souvenir from a hotel? Just get them a, a dental kit. Souvenir W, toothbrush, and a little, uh, little toothpaste. In terms of the amenities, the soaps, you know when you go to a luxury brand, the soaps are the best. These soaps are from Skin Skin Regen, which is a pretty popular brand actually, and they are nice. And one thing that's awesome is that they give you that they give you face cream as well as body lotion or body cream in their sense, as well as the bar soap. That is some beautiful soap. I might just take it. Um, many towels, good minis. Comes with the bathrobe, which is awesome. I don't know if I'm actually gonna wear it though because I'm not really a bathrobe type of person. Uh, and then lastly, the third part would be the shower. Now, if you were, if you, if you were in a two queen bedroom and you're like with like somebody that's not your significant other, kind of a weird uh, shower. The shower you cannot. There's no privacy at all. The shower is like right there, just integrated into the wall and then it's all glass, so you can see everything. So if you're sharing with like a friend, that's like, say if I'm going with a friend of mine who's, you know, not my significant other, we can just see everything. It's, that's how little privacy there is. I don't know, maybe that's really cool, but I'm like, what is, what is this? Why is this there? I would love a divider or something like that. Or at least for them to let us know why it looks like that. I know luxury looks, good but heck i've been to vegas hotels and there's still privacy for those uh, bathrooms so not sure maybe it's a modern take maybe they know that i'm here by myself um anyways next up closet area closet area is crazy it's got two parts of the closet i know as i said there's multiple closets weird um there's the first closet which is on the the far into the corner there you can put your regular hangers hangers are there some space on the top and a weird a weird orange box i mean i don't really have any use for it not like i would be here that long but it's there uh tv massive tv by the way um has many channels all right cool uh, things that i, I kind of don't like uh, is the chair itself that you're at get at the desk the chair is okay it's just a standard chair not the best it's not as comfortable as you think I have a vanity mirror and it opens up 
it, it opens up to a uh, triple mirror, so I can do a little fashion show little thing like that. I'm not sure why, but it looks cool. Um, one thing that I noticed is that there aren't really many pictures around. There's one picture right by the desk, and it looks so weird, but it's a picture, I guess. Um, also, this room echoes a lot, so I'm not sure how it picks up. And then lastly, I am sitting on what they consider a couch is. This couch, uh, I believe, does come with a sofa bed, so you can pull it out and then sleep on it. But hey, actually, the sofa bed's pretty comfortable, actually. So if you were, you know, with another friend or something like that, or if you were a couple and you had a kid and stuff like that, the kid can sleep here like this, even though this is a little hard right here, this is actually really comfortable right here. I can sleep on this all day. It's really comfortable. Uh, good quality in terms of the couch. Just, this is a little kind of sucky. Also, got them to give me a free pen as well. That's the best. I love pens. It's really not wanting to brand in here. Yeah, this is, it looks like a weird pen. It's kind of plasticky, but it's the W Hotel brand, so, and it's in plastic, so it means it's a new pen. Yes, I'm gonna keep that. So for this hotel, I'm going to give it an 89 out of 100. There are some things that it doesn't get up to that 90 rank, that A rank, but it's a great B plus. Um, looking at this hotel, it's got all the amenities that you, you would think you want. Uh, but if you're an older generation type of guy, I don't know if you would, you know, feel very comfortable being in um, such a lively place, being super, it's very, the elevator is super poppy, um, the, the whole lobby is like, it's like a whole nightclub in there or something like that. Um, and uh, yeah, so weird privacy kind of bathroom that doesn't make any sense if you come here with friends. Uh, there's some lights issues and stuff like that that I was trying to click in. Like, if you try to turn on lights, it takes like a couple seconds for it to turn on. And then every time you try to turn it off, same thing. It takes a couple of seconds to turn off. And then it like clicks and it keeps clicking. And I'm like, click, click, click. And I'm like, uh, why? Uh, lastly, decor is kind of okay in terms of like, okay, in terms of a four star hotel, four or five star hotel. Decor, if you take out us, all the colors, it's kind of boring. No offense. Um, and then lastly, when I got into this hotel room, I'm not sure who was the last person who used it because when I got in, the desk was covered in dust. Same thing, the tops of these, uh, this little panel right next to me here, filled with dust. So I cleaned it already. I usually come go in and wipe everything, but I was like, man, it's really dusty in here for some reason. It's like it's been sitting and, and no one cleaned it and no one's been using it, which is great. I'm fine with that, but kind of dusty. <laughs> so bed's great and it's a little too expensive. So we'll find the best ones for you. But this is Daniel here at Bujo Productions. Give you a hotel review of the W. I'll see you guys next week.